story time, Miss Mary Jane has that for us. Parachute. 
he, uh, he, had, um, he, he got himself, had a couple of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> he had some water. Uh, he had a two-way radio. He thought he was ready to go, so he told his neighbors who were watching, cut the rope. So he did. But, you know what happened? He didn't slowly rise up. That lawn chair went really fast. It went up so fast that he lost his eyeglasses. What a mess. He got up there 15,000 feet. Kind of a shock to him. Anyway, he was up there and he was surveying everything he wanted to see. In fact, he drifted over toward the Pacific coast and he actually drifted into the Los Angeles airport landing space. In fact, an airline pilot radioed in and he said, uh, there's a guy up here in a lawn chair with a gun. <laughs> Well, the control tower told him to report immediately upon landing. I think they thought he had been drinking. So anyway, long story short, they set up helicopters and helped him to descend. And when he got down, there was people all over the place. There was newsmen, there was television people, there was, there was police, there was rescue squad. I mean, everybody was there when he came down. And it got out all over the world about this story, about Larry, the lawn chair, Larry. It was a major event. But you know what? That reminds me of another major event. Um, the Bible teaches us that when Jesus returns, the redeemed will rise up and meet him in the sky. Amen. In fact, Paul was very concerned and he wanted Christians to know what was going to happen. And he told them, and he wrote, Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. And that's the dead in Christ. So the living will rise up together with the dead in Christ to meet the Lord in the air. And you know what? We won't need a lawn chair or healing. You know, there's a, a gospel writer that wrote a song called What a Day That Will Be in 1950. He was actually on his way home and he was thinking about his mother-in-law who was seriously ill. Now, Jim was kind of a new Christian and he just, he said, Lord, why is this happening to this good woman? Why, Lord? And you know, he said that the thoughts came to his mind. Just the words came to his mind. And he had nothing to write on. So as soon as he got home, he got out of the car and he saw a piece of cardboard laying on the ground. And he picked it up and he started writing the words to this song. You want to hear the song? Now, I'm not going to sing it because I don't sing as pretty as, as Andrea does. But I'll tell you what it says. It says, there is coming a day when no heartaches shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye, all in peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, a glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face. The one who saved me by his grace. And when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, a glorious day that will be. <laughs> Anybody want to pray? Okay, let's play. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we have these precious children.
that will continue to let the world know of your love and your grace and your care that you give us every day. Lord, we ask you to bless them, keep them safe, and let them know that you're always there for them. I would pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.